the distribution app of a Casio FX8200AU can be used to perform a range of calculations involving binomial distributions. One such calculation is the probability of two successes in four trials if the probability of success in a single trial is equal to 0 0.192, which is the calculation required in A Part 1. From the home screen, arrow across twice and choose the distribution app by pressing execute. For our first calculation, choose the binomial point distribution, or binomial PD for short, by pressing execute or the right arrow. The variable option calculates the probability associated with a single value of the variable x, rather than probabilities for a list of x values. We will see the list option in action later in this video. Choose variable by arrowing down and pressing execute. Enter the value of x as 2, being the number of successes under consideration, and then press execute. Now enter the binomial population parameters n and p, where n is the number of trials, 4 in this case, and p, which equals 0.192, is the probability of success in any one of those trials. With those inputs entered, press execute once more to perform the calculation. This output, p equals 0 0.144 to three significant figures, is the probability that Alex is shorter than two out of four randomly chosen Australian males. The next calculation is the probability of at least two successes in four trials, if the probability of success in a single trial is equal to 0 0.192. To calculate this most efficiently, the cumulative probability of less than or equal to one success can be calculated, as the complement of this result is the probability required. Make your way to the distribution options. From where I am, two presses of the back arrow will do it. For this calculation, choose the binomial cumulative distribution, or binomial CD for short, by arrowing down first, then using the right arrow or execute. Now choose variable by arrowing down once more and pressing execute. Enter the value of x as 1, which will calculate the probabilities from 0 up to x equals 1 cumulatively. If necessary, enter the binomial population parameters n and p as 4 and 0 0.192. As these parameters are already entered, courtesy of my previous calculation, I will just arrow down and press execute to complete the calculation. This result, 0 0.831, is the probability of less than or equal to one success, which is the same as the probability of less than two successes. This is not the answer we want, which is the probability of greater than or equal to two successes. For that, we require the complement one take p. One way to calculate this is to head to the Calculate app by pressing the Home key and heading left. Once there, enter one minus answer using the Answer button, which is above the seven. This gives us the probability of greater than or equal to two successes as 0 0.169 to three significant figures. In terms of the question asked, this is the probability that Alex is shorter than at least two of the four randomly chosen Australian males. The final question to be answered is what is most likely in this scenario, a question that requires us to consider the probability of a range of outcomes. This is an ideal opportunity to use that list calculation mentioned earlier. First, to head back to the distribution app. As I am in another app, I will need to press the home key, then arrow across and execute. For this calculation, choose the binomial point distribution, BPD, with the right arrow, then choose list by pressing execute. Enter the list of x values of interest. I will enter x as 0, 1, 2 and 3, as these will be the most likely outcomes of this binomial scenario. Press execute between subsequent entries and then press execute once more to finalize the list. 
if necessary, enter the binomial population parameters n and p as 4 and 0 0.192. As these parameters are already entered, courtesy of my previous calculation, I will just arrow down and press execute to complete my calculation. This list shows the point probabilities for each chosen value of x. From that list, we can see the x value of greatest probability is x equals 0, which means that the most likely scenario is that Alex is shorter than 0 out of 4 of this randomly chosen group. In other words, the most likely outcome is that he is the tallest of this group.